Okay, Scorpio. So for June, for your energy, we actually have the 10 of wands in reverse. And so what this tells me, um, we'll approach this a few ways for hopes, expectations, uh, fears, or what you're kind of currently going through. This tells me that a lot of you have been carrying a very heavy load. Um, as you can see, this, this character here just it has, their hands are full. You can't get any fuller than a 10 of wands. 10 is the maximum. So what this tells me is that a lot of you have felt drained by your current relationship or maybe just how you're feeling about relationships in general. And that no matter how hard you work, it doesn't seem like your efforts are paying off, that it's a constantly an uphill battle. And I feel that many of you are just kind of feeling exhausted by it all, like just a burnout. Um, like I said, that you've just put so much because the fire represents action. So I feel that many of you have put a lot of energy and effort into a relationship or into a situation and it's just not returning the reward that you had hoped for. And so for some of you, I feel that that's what you're hoping for is that all this intense effort, all this hard, you know, we're talking about a lot of effort here is going to pay dividends for you. And your fear is that they won't, that all of your hard work will be in vain or that it's just not producing the outcome that you desired. And so this could go a couple of ways, but for some of you, you're realizing that you know, you can't give much more in this situation. You just can't like you're at your full. I mean, when you're at the 10, you're at your full capacity. There's nothing left to give. So some of you are realizing that something has to change, that even though you've stayed on this course of direction for so long, something has to give. And so some of you are going to be making changes or you're desiring to finally make a change in your relationship, that you're, you're coming to that realization that as a human being, you can only physically, spiritually, mentally, emotionally handle so much, and you've reached your full capacity. You've reached it. You've reached your limits. So some of you will be making changes. This card can also talk about um, concealment. So this could be either you or your partner where things are hidden or concealed and things are unknown at this time. So it could be with your current partner or maybe you're concealing or hiding things this month where um, I feel that the score, a lot of Scorpios need, they need their own time. They're longing to break free from heavy burdens, from things weighing them down, from emotional, physical, and mental exhaustion. So I almost feel like this figure is it's kind of tucked in within itself. It's, it's, it's holding on, but it's just, it, it's, it's holding on to its inner self because it needs to recharge. It needs to regain. It needs to fill itself and fuel itself because it's just literally spent all of its reserves. So some of you might just be saying, you know what? I put this much energy in this relationship and I can do no more. If this relationship is going to work out, it's up to the other person. Like, I feel like some of you are finally going to be letting go of a stance, even if you've held onto it for a long, long time, that you realize that you can't, you can't do it all yourself. You can't fix everything yourself and that some things, someone else has to chip in and help. So the other thing is, is when the 10 of wands is in reverse, it can also talk about Scorpio, that if you are in a relationship that there's just, there's something not right in the relationship, but there is a desire to not really face it or acknowledge it, that it's easier to just be really busy. I feel a lot of you are working extremely hard in some area of your life, like work or just, you know, doing things for other people. You've been giving so much, giving, 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 giving. And if you're in a current relationship, it might be a challenge to really face it for what it is to really acknowledge the reality of the situation. This card can talk about kind of just, just pretending it doesn't exist and hoping that it will go away. Um, I really am sensing for some of you that if something does not change, like you're going to burn out. I mean, especially when, like I said, there's like, because this fire, you know, we're fire and we're in reverse. So to me, I feel like it's a burnout. Like, and I feel like Scorpio, you're realizing this. You're realizing that 
and this isn't for all of you, like I said, this is a general reading, but for some of you in your relationship, it's, it's either not working or your gut says something's not right. But I feel that some of you have just put so much effort and so much time and energy into this person. And that's why it's been hard to let go. Because that's your fear is that the energy won't be, your hard work won't pay off. And that's almost too painful to even think about, to think that you've put this much effort into the situation and there's a possibility it may not pay off. So when it's also, when it's in reverse, it just talks about that you're afraid that this person is not trustworthy or that someone isn't being honest with you. Um, yeah, I just, I feel like you're definitely looking at people in a different way in a sense that you don't want to be fooled. You don't want to be taken for granted and you don't want the wool pulled over your eyes. So yeah, definitely an intensity happening for some of you in relationships as far as the challenge goes. And I do have to say, because it's a fire sign and you actually have two fire energies here, some of you might have been dealing with a Sagittarius Leo or Aries, or it could just be the, the fire energy. I feel that the fire energy has been, um, strong in some of your relationships. So you know, maybe a lot of competition, maybe because this card also talks about one person is the primary giver in the relationship that, that someone may not be pulling their weight in the relationship. Um, someone may be non-committal in the relationship. And because of all the fire, there's just a lot of intensity. There's a lot of emotional charge to this relationship. Um, so as far as the challenge, we have the Prince of Cups in reverse. I mean, you can just see this, the blue energy in this card. So the challenge, Scorpio, is going to be if your relationship, it could go two ways. Regardless of what you do, because I feel that you are becoming enlightened towards the situation. You are realizing your boundaries and yourself. And I do feel that many of you are moving towards self-protection where you're not going to continue to put up with whatever you've been putting up with. Like you can only take so much. I feel like some of you are going to start saying no, no more. I'm not going to tolerate this anymore. You're going to just, you know, if people are expecting you to do things, I do feel like you're moving towards protecting yourself and the challenge is going to be is your emotions basically. And because you feel things so deeply, that's kind of what this card talks about. So if you do decide to walk away from a situation or if you just decide to say no to someone or to a lover that expects you to carry the load or whatever it is, the challenge is going to be to keep your emotions in balance because you do feel so deeply. And don't, in my encouragement to you, Scorpio, is don't be afraid to feel. Don't be afraid to allow, because you are going to feel. That's part of your gift. Um, this card kind of does talk about uh, feelings and emotions. The challenge is going to let, be not letting them go to extremes. Um, you know, just trying to balance your energies out. This can also talk about emotions becoming so powerful that it's hard to see the situation clearly. And so things are going to seem worse than they actually are. So if you are making positive changes for yourself, Scorpio, if you are saying no, or you're walking away from something, or you're saying I've had enough, I'm, I'm going to take care of myself or whatever the situation is, um, be aware that that could produce some intense emotions but that know that you are safe, know that you are loved, know that you are protected, know that God is with you, know that if you have a day where you're feeling like more intense or just, you know, your emotions are really low or whatever, that, you know, this too shall pass, that these are just emotions, that it's not going to feel like this forever. And as always for water signs, I really feel like getting near the water or being in water, taking a bath, uh, you know, going to the ocean, if you can listening to water for water signs, it does really seem to kind of bring back to balance. So, so yeah, I do feel for some of you this month, it's, it's the challenge is going to be, you know, remaining balanced in your emotions and thinking positive, you know, when you're feeling all these other things, 
to not allow that to, you know, to totally jade how you're feeling about life because it's not going to be perfectly accurate. Especially if, you know, it, because this card also, there's a lot of imagination. There's a lot of like creativity with the Prince of Cups. So meaning that you have a very powerful manifestation and creativity. And so whatever your emotions are feeling, it feels very real. It's very vivid and very strong. And so the key is, is just to remember that this is who you are. You are, you are a healer, you are a creator, and you are balanced. So if you're feeling a little unbalanced, just allow yourself to feel unbalanced. There's times where we feel like that and know that you're doing the best for yourself. You're doing the best for your life path because some of you are just burnt out. Some of you are just burnt out. You've given this relationship or this person, like you're all and beyond your all and you just you're done i feel like a lot of you are so done so and kind of the challenge with that is is is, is a beautiful thing when we finally say enough is enough and we take our power back but there's emotions there and that's kind of what we've been avoiding the whole time we don't that's the whole that's the reason we keep holding on is because we don't we don't want to feel yucky who wants to feel yucky we want to keep holding on to that dream and that ideal but there's a point where, you know, eventually if the universe is saying no, we have to take care of ourselves. We have to balance and heal ourselves and our energies. And, and I feel that a lot of you are at that point. You're, you're at that point. So I just want to prepare you that if the emotions are a little intense, it's understandable. You've been through a lot and based and, and I know a lot of you Scorpios just work your tails off and you're very passionate and you give very deeply and very powerfully. So it might take a little time to balance the energies and just be patient with that process and know that your emotions will heal. They will heal and really try to love and nurture and soothe yourself in this time and be gentle with yourself. If you are going through a breakup or, um, you know, you're walking away or if you're just saying no, I mean, a lot of times just saying no, to people that we're used to saying yes to, that can be hard because we get all these feelings in ourselves like guilt or just whatever. So just really loving yourself in whatever emotional state you're in and offering yourself forgiveness, I feel like is gonna be helpful for you this month. Okay, Scorpio, so as far as the outcome goes, um, we also have the Ace of Wands in reverse. And so what this tells me is like I've said before, Many of you are at your kind of, I don't want to say breaking point, but kind of in a way. Um, and this, the ace is kind of like, you're go you're realizing you have to start something new. Like a lot of you are realizing like there's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. It has to happen. Like, I feel like you guys are finally getting to that point where, and you know, it takes a lot to change a Scorpio's mind. It's like, it takes a lot, but once you're finally there, you're there. And so I feel like that's going to be the realization or the outcome that towards the end of the month, you're just going to realize that either the person, the relationship, your direction, that you cannot go on. You cannot continue to go on like this. Um, you're burnt out. Your emotions are going through extremes and something needs to change. So I feel that many of you are mentally going to start that process. However, because it's in reverse, this kind of tells me that it's going to be slow or delayed. Um, that yes, maybe mentally you know what you need to do, but it's not going to be as quick or even as necessarily as easy as hoped for. Not that you're not going to make the change, because some of you I feel like are just gonna be ready to change. Like you're over it, you're just like, I need a new start. And so, once a delay or a frustration happens, that that's going to be a challenge. It's going to really challenge you to stay grounded and balanced in your emotions. The key here is just to be patient that to remember that if it's taking you a long time to get to this place, you know, change doesn't happen overnight. And that even though you may be inspired to make this change, there's going to take, it's going to take work. It's going to take effort. It's going to take a daily grind to shift the energy, you know, from where it has been. And so I'm just, I mean, honestly, Scorpio, I'm sensing a lot of intensity in love for you right now that you're feeling. And with the, with the wands reversed, I'm feeling frustration. 
I feel like frustrations and your emotions have been more extreme. Um, you know, kind of going from one side or to the other. And so sometimes just the awareness that that's what's happening, that, that you can kind of ground yourself and know that it's just an emotion, that the emotion, you know, doesn't have to control you because I feel like the best thing for you this month is to just calm your energies, like have calmness, peacefulness, um, really take care of yourself because I feel that for some of you, you're really understanding what makes you tick. You're going to be questioning, you know, when you have the ace of wands, it's kind of asking you what makes me happy in life? Where, where am I fired up? What, what, you know, you're, you're desiring that enthusiasm and that fire and that passion for life. And whatever the situation has been is it hasn't led you to what you thought it would be. It has not had the outcome that you desired it to have. And so I feel that many of you are going to be looking within and, and questioning that. And that's a beautiful place to be because when one door closes as painful as that can be, sometimes it forces us like literally it has to force us to look somewhere else. And we would never, ever, ever in a million years look there unless we were forced to. So like I said, I feel that many of you are feeling like you're at your wit's end in a situation or with just people's demands or with some relationship that is just not working. You've tried, you've put in so much effort. It's maybe possibly been one-sided and some of you are going to start leaving or making a change. And that is going to maybe expose some of your feelings, your emotions, your vulnerabilities. The Ace of Wands can also talk about anxiety of change, fear of change, that sometimes even if we're miserable, it's easier and more comfortable just to stay where it's safe or known or predictable. And so there is some anxiety with change, but Scorpio, I believe in you. I know that you will overcome and, um, because that's who you are. You're a fighter and you learn from every situation and you'll only become stronger. Okay, Scorpio, I'm so excited because I um, have not drawn this card yet and I have been using black tourmaline and I actually have some, so I wanted to show you. I have a nice big chunk of black tourmaline here and um, it's something that I only use occasionally, but it's very powerful. I mean, you can just feel the weight of this and it's, it's a powerful stone. So I'm so excited that I can put this up here while we read about black tourmaline. Okay, so black tourmaline, and we have, it's about protection. So it's black, and it's related to the base chakra. So black tourmaline is one of the most powerful protection crystals within the crystal kingdom. It draws divine light from the universe and directs it into the darkness. It brings light to the shadow as it illuminates and awakens the wisdom of the void. As the light meets the darkness, it protects all in its presence. It offers a protective shield around the aura, allowing you to feel safe and grounded, dissolving any negative energies in the field. So it is a great crystal to have around computers and other electromagnetic devices, making for a healthier environment. So black tourmaline is a powerful grounding and protective crystal. It dissolves stuck or dormant energies in body and auric field. It strengthens and protects the aura. It assists in creating appropriate boundaries in your life. So Scorpio, black tourmaline is shining its powerful light upon you at this time, bringing to you the energy of protection. You may be feeling open and vulnerable and attracting unwanted energy that is out of alignment with your own. An unhealthy relationship or environment might be draining your energy and creating turmoil. You may even feel you need protection from your own harsh thoughts and judgments about yourself. Whatever the situation or circumstance you require protection from, know that the strongest form of protection is love. When you feel the need for protection, it is always good to look at the part you play in the situation and take responsibility for your own energy. Feel what you may need to change to feel safe. Bring the focus back to you and draw in as much love as possible for yourself. Take a moment in a quiet setting and place this powerful card 
on your heart. Breathe in pure love and protection on the inhale and on the exhale, breathe out any unwanted stagnant energy. Feel yourself being surrounded in a ball of love and light, knowing you are safe and nothing can penetrate this field of energy. Feel the love begin to flow within and around you and all external influences fall away. Love attracts love. So know that you are protected at this time by showering, showering yourself in this powerful light of the cosmos. Wow, that was a really, really powerful message. And if you don't have um, black tourmaline, you can always, you know, physically go get it at the store or at like a rock store. But you can also, Scorpio, just use this in your meditation, just this healing energy, even from this video, from this card, you can visualize. And, and you know, I mean, like I said, that's what I get from this. I get like such a powerful, deep, protective. And if I'm going through a lot emotionally or physically, or I, I feel like I need to detox, um, or I'm just feeling overwhelmed by everybody else's energy, this has been really helpful for me. And it kind of gives you insight as well into something that you're trying to understand. Uh, it kind of helps you clarify what's the root of the problem. So really excited that you drew this card. I really hope it's been helpful. Let's also um, pull a color, a color that we can meditate with for the rest of the month. What is a helpful color for Scorpio for the rest of the month, a healing meditative color that's going to help Scorpio be their highest and best self. Wow. Okay. First of all, this color is stunningly beautiful. Sapphire. I want one. Uh, regenerate your body. Man, if Scorpio, if this reading wasn't made for you, I don't know what was. Okay. So God, the angels, uh, you know, the universe is really backing you right now. I just have to say that. Um, because Scorpio is all about regeneration. So Sapphire, regenerate your body. Let's read it here. Sapphire heals, purifies, and regenerates your body. It also has the ability to soothe your mind, calm your nerves, and release emotional pain. As a nourishing color, Sapphire dissolves disharmony and clears the blocked pathways to well-being, clearing your mind, balancing your emotions, and creating order in your life. Experiment with Sapphire Light to regenerate your body and bring back a sense of harmony. Breathe in healing Sapphire Light. Allow yourself to focus on increasing your well-being. Rub your hands together, then place them next to each other. Imagine that in each palm you are holding a sphere of Sapphire Energy. Allow yourself to feel these powerful spheres of energy and play with them, increasing their size and strength. Now put your hands on the part of your body that needs regeneration.